Hello everybody, praise be to God and welcome to the last bonus video of Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. Only one thing left to show off today and that is the Spy Watch's fun game. Fun? Things from Space. I can't stop playing Things from Space, but I'll get my work done. Really? <laughs> so Things from Space, I think I mentioned it a little bit earlier on, it's basically like a Galaga clone. And it's a lot of fun. It's probably more fun than Happy Fun Sub, but less original. Anyhow. Let's just get into it and start playing. So we control this spaceship, we can move it around with the mouse, and we press and we click in order to fire. So right now, our first weapon is this little purple wave blaster. Um, no. Oh, if, if it forces me to cl uh, click out of the window a bunch, then that's gonna be terrible. I might have to do this on some of the end instead. Oh, sometimes they can drop pellets like this, so this levels up my, uh, pulser, or whatever, my first weapon. So now the, you can see the shots are bigger and they're a bit more powerful. The first, this weapon's not very great, and as you can see on the left, oh, just got another level up. This is the laser. This is the level one laser. It doesn't last for very long, and it doesn't have great range. Ooh. That's bad. Oh, if you die, your weapons get reset. I forgot about that. Uh-oh. If my mouse cursor leaves the window, I'm in big trouble. So I don't know how far I'll be able to get in this, because, well... <laughs> Simply put, I don't know if this game really has an end. Happy Fun Sub had five levels, and I was barely I barely was able to get to level five. I don't know how many levels are in Things from Space. Any bonus tokens you pick up will get added to your score at the end, and I'm trying to beat the high score of 5,000, essentially. It's got catchy music. It's got cool graphics. I like it. Purple. So there are three types of weapons. So this is the purple weapon where you just fire like, a bunch of, like, greens ahead of you. It's very weak. And the, bu bu the bullets are small. It's the worst weapon by far. The red weapon fires, like, bullets that explode. And that's a lot better. And then the, the laser is my favorite, the green weapon. The problem is the green weapon, uh, unless it's at max level, is not very useful. Oh, that's a good power-up. That'll level up all of our beams. And it turns us to the lead laser, I suppose. It, tur it changes your weapon to a random one. The laser's my favorite weapon, but not really when I'm used to playing it on this system, because I have to move the mouse a lot, and if my mouse leaves my window and I click, it clicks out of the window. Which is not good. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. There's no way to fix that, that's really bad. So I'm already on my last life. sets all of your weapons back to the lowest whenever you die. I thought that was just if you had like a game over. Oh, those fire bullets? I did not know that. Hang on a second. I am going to figure out a way to change the mouse so it can't leave the window. That's really going to help out. Okay. The mouse will no longer leave my window, so that's going to be a lot more helpful. Because the green laser is the best one. Like, by a pretty wide margin, once you level it up. But it requires you to move your mouse like crazy. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe it will show off the red weapon. Because again, this levels up all our weapons by one. Oh, it doesn't change. No, never mind. It get levels up a random weapon. So I leveled up my purple beam again. Well, you know what? I'm okay with that. The purple beam isn't awful. It's just my last choice of weapon. Because even at level three, it's not terribly great. It's not powerful. It's just the, the rings here. Baby. I've actually almost beaten the high score, though, which is astonishing to me. 
because I haven't even cheated yet. Come on, bonus token. Over here. It mainly comes to breaking these large asteroids with the purple weapon is an exercise of frustration. Oh yeah, it's the boss asteroid. The one that looks like a peanut. And now we have to wait for the bonus token to come back. Come back, bonus token! This means I will have beaten the high score, though. One thing I could do, I could use the trackpad with one hand and then click with my mouse. With my optical mouse. That almost might be better. Oh, uh, no, probably not. Level 4... The weapon power-ups have been pretty scarce, I must say. Even the small asteroids require a couple of rings in order to destroy them. Okay, I couldn't control myself. No. Oh well. You got the high score. Oh, okay. Well, let's try that again. And there's a special cheat I'll say that you can do, which makes uh, the game a whole lot more fun and a whole lot more interesting. So it says here, current weapon. If we press 1 on the keyboard, it leveled up our purple weapon, so we're at level 2. We press it again, we're now at level 3. So this allows us to level up the purple, our weapons whenever we want. So we press 1 for the purple wave attack. Here, I'll let me grab that power bonus. Because that level, uh, levels it up again, or just changes our weapon to that. Now if we press 2, it changes to the second weapon that we haven't seen yet. It's not super rapid fire, not to the same extent as the purple weapon, but its explosions will actually blow up. The green weapon? Oh, sweet. Uh, I don't think I hit that, but alright. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it only lowers your weapons by one when you die. Okay. So yeah, we'll max that out. The level 2 red weapon will shoot three of those for every time you click. So you can cover a lot of ground, and then the level 3 version should fire three of them. So you can just keep clicking and you'll, like, fire a bunch of exploding shots. Every time you level up the green laser, it gets bigger and lasts for longer. At, le at the max level, the green laser is really, really good, as you're about to see. I actually think I will be using the trackpad. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So let's see how far we can get with this. Oh yeah, trackpad is way better for controlling the ship. Believe it or not. Normally I don't like picking up the weapon power-ups once I'm at max level, so it'll just change the weapon for the most part. Seriously, how could you not be in love with the green laser? You destroy everything before it can get it close to you. So as far as the fun games go, this is probably my favorite of the Spy Fox ones. This and Happy Fun Stuff are both fantastic. The one in Spy Fox Free is fun, but nowhere near to the same quality as the others. The <laughs> Fiends from Space, once you learn you can kind of cheese it, it's a lot easier. But it's still really fun. I remember my brothers tried arguing with me that the red weapon is the best. I don't think so. Oh, 
Apple's going to trounce my record. I'm not sure if you can actually get extra lives in this or not. And I'll be perfectly honest, I don't really like Galaga at all, but I like things from space. And was it just me or was level 2 a lot longer when you didn't die in the middle of it? The problem with the red attack is that it's very easy for uh, enemies to get past it. Because it doesn't explode until after it's been launched for a few seconds. Whereas this is just like, no, if you touch it, it won't be destroyed. This is basically a game in and of itself. Which is one of the things I really like about the Spy Fox games. They have the, like, fun stuff. The fun games. That are, it's like a bonus game. In addition to the actual adventure game. It's fantastic. Once you get the level 3 green laser, the whole game gets a lot easier. And <laughs> once you learn the debug menu, it's just still all full. Actually, Vince from Space does have a, a full-on debug menu where you can, like, mess with the levels and such. However, it's very complicated and I haven't done it before, so I chose not to do that. Not to show it off. You're welcome to, though. Go to the cuttingroomfloor.com under SpyFox2 and you can figure out how to do it for yourself. Also, the later into the game you get, the more hectic the music gets, which is fantastic. Spy Fox likes the simple things in life, like destroying asteroids with a giant lightsaber. This is basically a lightsaber, let's be honest. Well, one thing's for sure, this game is nowhere near as hard as Bear Storm. Nothing in the whole world is as hard as Bear Storm. As far as video games go, like Dark Souls, please move over. Cuphead, what are you talking about? Bear Storming. Oh yeah, the trackpad is so much better. I say that and immediately it forces me into an enemy. It's really it's very difficult to stop the ship from moving. And I have to remember. I definitely touched that with the laser. Oh no, I suck at this game. You got you... the high score. Thank you, Spy Fox. So if you guys want to try to beat my abysmal high score, by all means, get the game yourself and play it. It's on Steam. It's a bargain. It's totally worth it. You should totally support the Humongous Entertainment Company. I don't know who owns them now, but they make great games. Anyhow, that's it for this Let's Play of Spy Fox 2 Some Assembly Required. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you look forward to future Let's Plays I do. Hope to see you then, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and may God bless you wherever you are.